Born in 1963 in Rockall Hills and Kingston, Everton Bonner of the Bonner Brothers and John Taylor went on to take up the musical monikers Pliers and Shocker Demas, both having respectively successful music careers before linking up to form one of the most powerful Jamaican acts ever. These two come together to create a soulful reggae dance hall mix that never fails to get me up and grooving. This is Chakra Demas and Plyer's 1993 album, All She Wrote. Released by Mango Records, if you're from the UK or Japan, the title was actually Tease Me. The difference between the two was the track list was basically in a completely different order in the other version. This album received a wide array of mainstream success, particularly in the UK where it charted right at the top. Because of the difference in track lists and the huge amount of success it had, with the other version of the track list. I tried it out, but I actually tend to enjoy this version better. It starts out with the track Murder She Wrote, sort of the title track of this one. A sweet intro to the reggae rap style of Shaka and the sultry voice of Pliers. A simple beat and airy guitar riff allows this one to roll along smoothly and spotlight on the duo's unorthodox yet complimentary vocal fusion. Things turn really sexy on I Wanna Be Your Man, with pleasant background vocals and the soul turned up on the bass and drum sections here. I really like the funky guitar and One Nation Under a Groove, but when the backbeat comes in it's really intrusive and the keyboards that are there don't really pop out the way they could. The bridge chorus is kind of flat but Mr. Demas' verses are a pretty good consolation. That's one of the great aspects of this pair. When one of them falls a little short, the other one can pick up the slack and make every track here at least palatable. Roadrunner is a case where Mr. Pliers takes over and has his own rap sung verses, along with a bit more of those complimentary background vocals. The beat is pretty similar, but toned down a bit to allow the guitar and bass a little bit more room to play. Party time with the track Friday evening! It's a song that invokes a couple of elements that I consider pretty hacky if they're in a song today. It's got that generic breakbeat of that does show up a couple times on this album, a bunch of times on this album, but in this case it actually feels like a genuine use of it. That said, it also does employ the use of listing five days of the week in one song. I consider two days to be the maximum amount of days you can listen to a song before it becomes just a little hacky. That said, this is the most tasteful use of both of those elements I've probably ever come across. Dance on and jump like you just don't care and this party start and pick me up. Potentially the most egregious transition between songs here, with another chilled out beach track titled Sunshine Day. Probably representing the sunny weekend after the Friday evening, but I'm still fired up after that kickstart of a dancer. Tracy is a playful one about trying to find a lost lover. It's fun, but it does wear thin after repeated listens. It steps nicely into a cover of Curtis Mayfield's She Don't Let Nobody. Light, harmonic, sweet and soulful, a fabulous rendition. Originally performed as just a solo hit by Pliers, Bam Bam is a reworking of a Toots and the Mayhalls track. It has sections that remind me of Miss Lauren Hill's Lost Ones. I believe it was also featured on a GTA radio station. This is actually the second time I've reviewed an album with a song from a GTA game. On to the secondary title track, Tease Me was another big hit on this LP. Grabby jazz sample, shakers, deep subdued drums make this have a totally different feel than the rest of the track list. Super playful, unique instrumentation, it's no wonder this one hit. From flirtatious to soulfully sexy on Let's Make It Tonight. The lyrics are almost desperate and the song gives me a boys to men vibe. Nabeta Nade is a catchy summary working man's jam. All about learning new skills to earn honest money working hard and understanding what it takes to live and have a fulfilling life. Now for another cover. This time it's the Isley Brothers classic, popularized by the Beatles and many other mainstream artists making it their own version. It's Twist and Shout. They do a good job of 
making it their own, but there's this incessant background sort of scream that is supposed to like accentuate something or just be part of the background, but it just takes me right out of it every time. The Closer is actually the very first song these guys ever worked on together. Galwine is another hit to send this record off. Keyboards are at their very best here, and the bass is as sweet as the vocals. Paving a way for a new wave of pop reggae to blast onto the mainstream. Chakra D and Pliers started out of a mutual respect, released and recorded a bunch of albums together, and were still performing up to as recently as 2015, as far as I can tell, at the Legends of Reggae Tour. Danceable, sexy, and overall a great time. Definitely give this one a whirl before summer's over. If you do enjoy it and you enjoyed this review, definitely consider subscribing for a weekly dose of random CD thrift shop madness. There's more reviews I did over here. Hope you're having a good summer. Hope you're staying safe. Hope you're managing to make the most out of whatever situation you're in. And best of all, hope you're rocking out to great music. Take care. Friday evening. What a feeling, just got home from some hot days work. Friday evening, feel like dancing.